In this video, we'll create an auto post boosting rule with RevealBot's post boosting feature. You can automatically boost organic posts to a Facebook page or Instagram if they get a certain level of traction. This is one more Facebook ad activity which you can put on autopilot with RevealBot. Here is how to set it up. Click post boosting in the sidebar. This is where all your auto post boosting rules will live. Click create rule to create our first one. The first step will be to give our rule a name. You can set up a separate auto post boosting rules for Facebook and Instagram. In this example, we'll set up one for Facebook. You'll also need to select the Facebook page you want this rule to apply to. You'll need to set up an individual rule for each Facebook page. Under Post, you can select which types of posts are eligible for auto post boosting. You can just cancel the ones you don't want to include. Then you can choose how many posts you actively want to be promoted at any given time. I'll leave mine at 2. The priority is always given to the most recent posts, so if there is a newer post that meets boosting conditions, the older post being promoted will be stopped and a new post goes into promotion. So if you set up number of posts promoted at once to two and you have two posts published that meet boosting conditions, these two posts will be promoted. Then if you create a third post and the original two are still active, the oldest of them will get post and the new one goes into promotion. Now comes the conditions. Since we don't want every post boosted, just the ones that do well organically, we need to create conditions to set some sort of performance threshold that a post needs to meet in order to be boosted. We have to select an initial metric and then a value to be less than, greater than or equal to. For example, let's select engagement rate is greater than 3%. You can also use a keyword inside the post text. To set this up, select post text as initial metric. Then you can enter a keyword or phrase as the value for the condition to check. For example, I can enter the word sale. So anytime I make a post with the word sale in it, it can trigger this rule. And of course, you can stack multiple conditions to refine your filters. All right, let's move on to the next step. Each new boosted post will be created as a new ad set within one campaign. So let's choose our campaign name. For general auto post boosting rules, you can name it something like auto post boosting dash as the base name, and then use a macro to add the ad account name like this. You should choose the right objective, depending on the type of post you are choosing to auto boost. For general auto post boosting rules, you may just want to choose engagement or awareness. For posts with links or buying centric posts, you should choose sales or traffic. Once you finish the rest of the settings here, click next to set up our ad set settings. Each new post that's auto boosted will create a new ad set, so I like to leave my ad set naming convention as a default, which just uses the post name. Then you can choose your target audience. This is a great feature of auto post boosting because we can select custom audiences to promote our posts to, not just to people who like our page. To do that, click the plus audience button, select your custom or lookalike audiences you want to include and exclude, location, then adjust any additional audience layers on top if necessary, then give your audience a name and click save. This audience will now be saved in RevealBot, so you can easily use it again. Please note, in case you are running EU targeted ads, you need to fill out the following fields with beneficiary and payer details. Without having this information in place, your rules won't pass Facebook validation. Below here, select your optimization goal and billing event. You can also customize the budget for each post and how many days each post will be auto boosted for. Another great feature about auto post boosting is customizing the placements. You can auto boost an organic Facebook post to Instagram and you can auto boost an organic Instagram post to Facebook. Once you've made your selections, click Next. In tracking settings, you can customize URL parameters to link website traffic back to an auto post boosting campaign and set up pixel and event tracking. And with notifications on, you'll get a notification every time a post meets the condition and is boosted. So you're always in the know of what your automation is doing. Then click Create to make your rule live. Later, if you want to check how the rule is performing, you can go to the rule logs by hovering over the rule name and clicking the logs button. All the checks which this rule has made will be listed there. By clicking on any of the checks, you will get to see further details. This is just one more way to automate your Facebook advertising. By creating individual auto post boosting rules by post type or keyword in the post text, you can get really creative with how you can leverage the tool to achieve your advertising objectives hands-free. And that's all for now. We'll see you in the next video.